So in this video, I want to show you a method for creating ellipses that makes it easier than just simply freehanding them. I'm starting with a cube because a cube is a good basis for ellipses. Since ellipses are circles in perspective and squares are, are cubes are squares in perspective. So I'm going to start by making a cube in one point perspective. And then we're going to place ellipses in the top and bottom plane. So let's go over the rules of ellipses while I'm finishing this up here. So the first rule is that ellipses are always symmetrical from side to side and top to bottom. The second rule is that ellipses are always rounded on the ends. The only exception is if the ellipse is sitting right on the eye level line. And the last rule is that ellipses are always widest in the center and they taper towards the ends. So following those three rules will give you really good ellipses. Just in a little correction here, what I'm doing is I'm creating a little grid inside of the plane. That grid is exactly halfway between the two sides of the plane and the top and bottom of the plane. So it's bisecting, or actually quadrisecting those into four sections. And then I'm drawing a simple little arc in one of the quadrants, and I'm folding a piece of tracing paper, and I'm putting the folded tracing paper so that the corner is in the same, the top corner of that ellipse. And then I'm tracing. So I'm getting a pretty good exactly symmetrical object. Now I still need to clean it up once I finish doing that. I'm going to do the same on the top. The top's a little tougher because it's thinner, but the same rules apply. So I'm tracing over it, and then I'm copying that so that I have it on my tracing paper. And then I lay it in there, and then just slip my pencil under. And I'm not trying to draw it perfectly. I just want to get the basics of it. So I'll come back and put it in a little better, just giving me a starting place so that I'm really following those rules. And here I'm going to just add some sides to the top and bottom so that I can see my ellipses as a cylinder. Because that's mostly what you're going to see with ellipses as cylinders.